War Review Nation, Gabe, and I'm here today to bring you another installment of R3 Wickets, Crow Eater Edition. Now, let me tell you right now, right off the bat, why is this a Crow Eater Edition? Because I was wrong. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. Holy cow, New Zealand versus Australia. I did not predict this. You know, I was the one saying that I know it's Test and T20, but I was like, I'm not sure with New Zealand playing so many home games that they deserved an automatic pass to get into the ICC Test Championship. Well, you know what? New Zealand's built a good product, man. And obviously, they're a real team. 2019 ODI proves it, where they went into that uh, uh, um, double Super Bowl, I think it was, versus England in the championship, which should never happen. So, uh, 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 you know, it just really tells you guys how good this team is. And I was, I was wrong to dismiss them. Again, it's, you know, recency bias. I had seen so much of India, England, uh, um, of course, my West Indies, because a lot of the games we watch are on Hot Star or on Willow. And for whatever reason, there's not a lot of New Zealand games on there. But I was asked by um, our, our CFA Nation, hey, check out some New Zealand games, Gabe. I said, all right. I had scheduled it and didn't realize it wasn't on there, so I had to call my man Nick. Nick came through. He's like, listen, I got you. He opened up the CFA coffers, and now we got ESPN Plus, so we'll be watching a lot more uh, um, New Zealand games. So let me start off right, about, right off the bat with what I liked. Remember the name, Devin Conway. This kid just made history as the first New Zealand player to have five consecutive 50s, guys. Five consecutive 50s. Super impressive. His last innings were 50 let me read it off my list just to make sure I got it right. 50, 69, 91 not out, 93 not out, and 99 not out. That is impressive. Just to let you know how impressive this is, I had to do some research. There's only five other guys in um, T20 history that have ever accomplished this feat. All right? Listen to the names, and you'll find out the kind of company Devin Conway is keeping. We're talking about the Indian legend Sewag with, in, 2020, uh, in 2012 with five consecutive 50s. All right, Zimbabwe, Mazakaraza uh, with uh, five consecutive 50s. Pakistani uh, um, T20 cricketer uh, Ak Akmal with five consecutive um, uh, uh, half centuries in 2017. Josh Butler, okay, English player. We all know Josh Butler, 2018 accomplished a feat. And David Warner from Australia. That's it, guys. That's it. No other team, no other play. That's insane to me. This kid is a superstar in the making, and I'm ex so excited to see what's going to happen with his career. You're going to have now Kane Williamson, the dangerous Kane Williamson, paired up with Devin Conway. I, oh, my gosh. You know what? I can see how much damage this team can cause. Can cause. So let's get into the game. I mean, obviously, what I liked, I'm starting with uh, uh, New Zealand and the performance by Devin Conway. I also got to start with the bowling because I'll tell you what, uh, 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 the batting is impressive, but other than Conway, the first three batsmen in New Zealand got out relatively easily. And I was at work thinking, oh, this is going to be an easy one for Australia. When you got uh, 19 for three, you've got Gupta, Cypher, and Williamson all out at, for 19 runs within, the four, with, with, within four overs. I'm like, this thing is over. This game is over. Never say it's over till it's over. All right, you had Glenn Phillips, who also picked it up with the bat, with the bat, thirty for twenty, one fifty strike rate, and Jimmy Nishin, twenty six runs. But really, the heavy lifting was done by Devin Conway with that ninety nine not out. But the bowling stepped up. You got Tim Southey. All right, three overs, ten runs, two wickets, three thirty three economy rate. Are you kidding me? In T twenty, a three thirty three economy rate. What is this test? All right, and, and, and you got Trent Bolt. We know him. Three overs, 22 runs, two wickets, 733 economy rate. Sodi, best performance. Four overs, 28 runs, four wickets, a flat seven economy rate. Super impressive. Um, Again, the bowling was awesome. Now, Kyle Jamison got pumped a little bit. He got a wicket, three overs, 32 runs. He wasn't the most impressive, but we'll talk about that in a little bit when we talk about what we didn't like. But all in all, New Zealand... You know, hats off, I was wrong, and I'm so excited to see them in the future. Now, what I did not like with New Zealand, all right, let's talk about Kyle Jamison. This guy just got, what was it, 14 curves or 15 curves uh, um, in the IPL. He got pumped, all right? You, you, 
you got to be under 10. 1067 economy rate. Only one wicket. He was not impressive. Kyle Jamison was not impressive to me. And if I am RCB, I'm nervous because this is the guy I bought. Okay, we'll talk about the other guy that he bought when we talk about the Australian side. But Kyle Jamison, man, he was bad. Flat out bad. And, you know, again... You got to really think about the fact that maybe the pressure got to him. You know, maybe he's out of form. But other than that, that's it. I really can't harp too much. You know, I, I don't want to be grasping at straws. What did I not like? Just Kyle Jamison's performance. That's it. Now, on the Australian side, let's start with what I did not like. <sighs> Everything. Everything. It's, 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 it's unfathomable to me that you've got a team down 19 for three and let them come back and score a, 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 a 185 runs. That just doesn't make sense. And it was sloppy play in the field, okay? A lot of balls that were misplayed. It's certain things that should have been dots go for singles, uh, 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 go twos go for boundaries. Like, come on, guys. Play clean. Play clean, all right? It, it was just absolutely embarrassing. Um, you know, Aaron Finch got this dismissed in the first over, all right? Last ball or fifth ball of the first over. I'm not even sure what's going on with Aaron Finch. He's been bad for a while, going back to the IPL. Remember, he got dropped from RCB those last few games, so I'm not sure what's going on with Aaron Finch. Then you got Felipe, Wade, Stoinis, and Mitchell Marsh, who all got dismissed, guys. The ball or the delivery right after they hit a, a, a boundary or a six. All right, I believe it was Wade that hit a six and then got dismissed, and um, Marsh that got, hit a, a, a six and that got dismissed. Um, Stoinis hit, hits this crushing boundary and then hits a weak little uh, 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 um, pop-up right back to the bowler, who was Sodi, I believe. And I'm like, what is going on here? Guys, they were toyed with. New Zealand's bowling toyed with them. Like, yeah, I'm going to give up that six because I'm going to get you aggressive and then I'm going to get you with the googly or I'm going to give you with the slow ball. And you saw that happen several times. I mean, the last uh, uh, um, wicket came that way where um, uh, who was it that came out way in a crease? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember off of the top of my head who was it came out way in the crease. Obviously, he was trying to hit a six and then got stumped. And Kane Richardson, was it Kane Richardson? Tried to hit a six and then got stumped out. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it, or it might have been Jai Richardson. But, you know, guys, I, I tell you, this was ugly. This was ugly for Australia. And it's so bad. So bad. Other than Mitchell Marsh, there was not a bright side whatsoever. Whatsoever. Mitchell Marsh, 45 runs, 33 ball, uh, on 33 deliveries, 136 strike break, and that's it. The uh, I mean, you, uh, Agar got 23 on uh, 13, but other than that, you you got guys that didn't even get out of the single digits, man. It's brutal. You Finch one, Philippe two, and that's bad because that's this kid's debut. All right, Maxwell one. We're gonna talk about Maxwell. We're gonna talk about Maxwell, but I I I I'm Stoinis eight. Sam's one, Richardson five, like literally half your team did not even, five players plus did not get into, out of the double digit. that's embarrassing, that's just embarrassing, and you know what, it's captaincy, there's a lot of chatter talking about, is JL gonna be sacked, they just had the debacle in GABA, you know, that's at home, there's no arguing about the pitch out there, Australia, that was on you, like, something's gotta change, it, it, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's, it's bad right now, and you know, we need to regroup. This isn't a New Zealand fan killing Australia, all right? I root for Australia. I walk around my bag of green. I fell in love with this team since the test. But right now, if you're an Australia fan, my man Jihan, the rest of you guys, you got to be candid and say this is bad cricket. This team is in a bad way, and they got to figure it out. They absolutely got to figure it out. Hopefully, it'll be the next match. But overall, I'm super disappointed. A and Maxwell. Maxwell played poorly on both ends, all right? Bowling, uh, uh, um, he, he wasn't the worst bowling, all right? Other guys got pumped more than Maxwell. Uh, um, as far as bowling is concerned, you know, one over, nine runs, whatever. But his fielding, there was one play that's synonymous for how, how sloppy Australia played. And there was a ball that was hit. It was um, a gapper by Jimmy Neesham. And I want to say it was... Uh, Jai Richardson that hit it back in so it wouldn't become a boundary and then 
I don't know what happened, but go back and watch that play. Galen Maxwell like took the eye, his eye off the ball, it hit his hand, and then hit the rope for a four. That cannot happen. That cannot happen. That's just a lack of focus there. I, I don't know. He was late to a few balls. I mean, it's like the did they pay him in gold bricks out there in the IPL? Because I know he got $2 million. Did they give him gold bullions out there in his pockets weighing him down? Because he played terribly. His defense was horrible. One for eight. He never got com uh, comfortable. Oh, it was it was just bad. Hopefully, th this is the kind of game, as a coach, you don't even want to look at the tape. You don't even want to look at the tape. Because what are you going to learn from that tape? We played poorly. Move on. All right? It wasn't like the strategy beat you. It You beat yourself. And this needs to change. Captaincy is the last thing I want to talk about. Explain to me two decisions that Finch was a part of. Why did Zampa only bowl hit three overs and did not go for his maximum when he was the most economical bowler that Australia had? Did he get injured? Did I miss something? Why? Zampa three for 20. No, uh, 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 um, didn't get any wickets, but a 667 um, seven economy rate. Nobody else was under seven. All right, 775 was Jai Richardson, and he was the next closest. Everybody else, 10, 1050, 10, 859. Why did he not finish his last over? I do not understand the thinking there, and that is directly on Aaron Finch because he controls the bowling. Also, Philippe failed. I get it. But why Philippe and, and Wade? Okay, if you're going to bring in Philippe, he's a wicket keeper. You know he can, he, he can keep put him behind the stumps and bring in another bat, okay? We got other guys in Australia that could play a uh, uh, T20. I'm, I, I just, I don't understand what's going on, guys. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. If you're an Australian fan, you got to be honest. You got to say something's got to change. Something's got to change. And I think there is honesty out there because I've been on the Twitter sphere. I've been on the internet, you know, uh, uh, on the web. And there's a lot of talk. JL might be sacked. JL might be sacked. I don't want, I'm not calling for him to lose his job. You know, I would never wish that on anybody. But obviously, there's a problem and it needs to be addressed. Because if you count this match, uh, at, this has been four, three test matches. And now this T20 match where Australia has absolutely gotten in back. What else is there to say? Okay. There was... Uh, the 36 all out, and after that, it's been all bad. It's been all darkness, guys. All darkness. Nothing is good. Nothing is good. I'm telling you, it's, it's ridiculous right now. Oh, I mean, guys, I'm telling you right now, things got to change. Things got to change. With that being said, I mean, what did I learn? I learned that, A, I was wrong. All right. New Zealand is legit and deserves to be in the championship. And, you know, it's going to be England, Australia or, or uh, India, depending what happens in this next two test matches between England and, and uh, um, India. So they deserve to be there. They deserve to be there despite their record away from home. It is what it is. You know what I mean? The guys can absolutely bang. So you got to give them credit for that. And I learned, you know, I discovered a new player. I mean, I knew who Kane Williamson was. I had no, no idea who Devin Conway was. And I, get, I venture to guess a lot of people didn't. You will know the name. This guy, again, go back to the beginning and li listen to the names. Okay, he's up there with guys like Saywag, with guys like uh, David Warner, with guys like Josh Butler. This kid's going to make some noise. On the Australia side, I learned that right now we have lost our way. We need to improve. And there's got to be there's got to be a change, man. OK, you OK. India came in and scraped Australia at home in the Gava. I get it. India is one of the best sides in the world, probably the best side. They're super deep. All right. You just got scraped. Again, you just got scraped by New Zealand. What's the excuse now? All right. I mean, at some point, you just got to think we're just not playing well and we got to change things up. Maybe it's chemistry. Maybe I, I don't know what it is. If I did, obviously, I wouldn't be here making videos. I'd be coaching. But those coaches need to figure it out because there's way too much talent for this kind of thing to happen. All right, guys. You know, this game wasn't even close. All right. This game wasn't even close. 53. They won by 53 runs. All right, they bowled out Australia in the 18th over. This game wasn't even close. It wasn't even in jeopardy. So, guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know if, uh, uh, your thoughts, please, if you agree with my synopsis. If not, I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments. Again, a tip of the hat to New Zealand. Good on you. You know what? 
We got another test match um, coming up between Australia and India. We're super pumped for that. Look out for that preview video we're going to drop. And then we're, I'm going to hopefully try to fit in this New Zealand and Australia T20 match, the second one, because I want to see what's going to happen and hopefully see my boys back up, um, bounce back. But with that said, guys, thank you guys for joining. As usual, please scroll all the way down or to the top. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, that six runs.